Hodge. And that's Mr. Sar. Some of our directors sent us videos of them playing old school games. It's a little theme we got going on this week. And first up, we got Fanatical playing a little uh, 007 Nightfire. Yeah. I've got to um, take surveillance and stuff using my micro camera camera, which doubles up as a lighter, me. And you're not allowed to kill civilians, which is very irritating in my opinion. What's up everybody? Next up we got Can4. He's playing a little Secret of Monkey Island from 1990, which is so close to the 80s it counts. It's one of those strategic games where you have to plan everything carefully, and you have to be like, you have to know what you're going to do. It often involves bribes. Next up, we got Rock holding it down playing Pac-Man from 1980. You know, I think the kids of today kind of miss out on the gaming experience that I got to have as a, as a kid. Our very own Bayesian Canadian plugged in Star Fox 64 gave it a little spin. Fly high, brother, fly high. I don't know about you, but uh, that guy there, I think his name is Captain Pepper, he reminds me a, a lot of the majority of the commentators on YouTube with their delicious monotone voices. Next up, we got Muzza Fuzza playing Doom from 1993. So uh, you'll see when I shoot this guy right here, see, I'm shooting that guy up there, but it's not even, you don't even have to like look up to get him, so there's no real aiming. Alright, finally we got the Royal Viking playing Pokemon Red on his Game Boy in 1996? Six? Yeah, I think six. Six! We had the choice between Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Which one will I choose? See that? No. Something's happening with the wave. Hold on, hold on. Ready? I'm sending it over. Send it back. 